Oh, okay, John. Uh, I was I I need to collect about this one. Uh, this is kind of switched, okay? So when we say transitive, it means 타동사, and intransitive, it means 자동사, okay? It's just switched. Um, talking about transitive and intransitive, uh, there are many uh, confusions like that. And so if you take a look at the uh, handout, uh, it talks about the uh, couple of the uh, mistakes that you uh, created uh, in your writing, okay? And so uh, here what I call uh, main verb error typology and what I was about to was to demonstrating uh, via internet. And so remember the, uh, the site where you uh, correct your mistakes directly on the spot. Uh, if you go there, it could uh, help you on the spot. And so, uh, who's the next student? Uh, could you uh, read aloud number one and uh, find out the mistakes down there? Making by a stay in the cavalry is important for young because by their future community can make profit more as we make them strive for year. Mm. So do you see how many mistakes are there in the area? How many? How many mistakes are there? Idea. Why, why don't you pass over to, uh, to your peer next to you? How many, how many mistakes do you see? Starting from uh, making bias, handing to uh, for five years. I said four. Four? It's, it's not. Harry, the first error here. Um, company can mix. It's, I think can make, make is need as. Same thing, the same story. Um, if you are quite interested in looking at the answer for this one, the best way is to go to the site where error correction is made for you on the spot. So if you are 
uh, type this one, then it will let you know there are two errors here. The first one, stay in, not stay in, but here, in terms of the context, preposition within is much better, okay? And the other error, uh, because, the conjunction because, when came back to the, uh, almost in the middle of the uh, sentence, uh, in front of because, there is no comma at all, okay? So it's not right, conjunction, subject, verb, comma, subject, verb, or subject, verb, no comma, conjunction, subject, verb, okay? So I strongly advise you again uh, to go to the site, the site where uh, it could give you direct correction. Where uh, you are and the uh, you did a good job of uh, checking it out. And also this one is related with the, uh, your assignment, okay? 1990 error uh, recognition, okay? So uh, if you go to the site, you can directly go back and see the wrong problem, okay? So I strongly urge you to go there and check it out. So uh, uh, for the uh, main book error that you created was like the first one, confusion of transitive versus intransitive verb, as you can see the example there, and no verb at all, or wrong form of using verb, and also another typology. Too many verbs there, so when you write sentence, it should be only one, subject verb, subject verb, subject verb, is the uh, basic things. Uh, however, uh, you could see an example of subject V1 and V2. So, for example, I went to the Jew and saw an elephant, then there is no comma at all because they are referring to the same subject, okay? So, uh, in your quiz, in your uh, main book quiz, uh, exercise will be appearing again, again, okay, and so with the, uh, not this one, these are the examples coming from you, you. and uh, I'm going to provide the uh, other examples, or 10 examples of uh, using uh, both wrongly, so you need to take a look at it and pick up the errors down there, mostly talking about uh, uh, intransitive versus transitive or uh, full type out of this here. Okay? Questions? Am I clear? Questions? Uh, if you have a question, please ask me now. Uh, after the class, I have a whole bunch of work to do. So if you have a question, please ask me now. Uh, if you don't have any questions, let me uh, move on to uh, the next one, okay? Uh, talking about rainbow, uh, we also need to think about the uh, uh, bubbles, okay? So when we say bob and bubbles, they are different ones, okay? And so without uh, understanding bubbles, the difference between bubble and bob, uh, English became one of the most hardest subject okay? So you, we, we have to have clear difference between verb and bubbles. Uh, I will go back to the issue of the attractive versus intractive bulb again right after this one. Uh, when we say bubble, uh, this is not the uh, uh, verb. So, uh, uh, typical example could be uh, uh, the next student. Uh, can you think of the, who's the uh, next student? Can you think of the bulbs that take two roots and an object? Two roots. As an object. Can you uh, give me an example 
of the sentence where Bob takes two root as an object. Uh, the next thing, uh, who's the next thing? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, uh, there is a verb, and it should take the uh, two root as an object. So it's like a rhyme, okay? Promise, agree, pretend, want to wish you sick, fail, choose, run, decide, expect. So I try to equalize the rhyme of the uh, G.O.D.'s liar, and I don't think this is uh, wonderful, but anyway, as far as the remembering is concerned, I think it would help, help, help you. So copy me. Promise, agree, pretend. Promise, agree, pretend. Not doing it? If you don't do that, well, I'm old enough not to do that, but uh, like I said, English learning, you have to be crazy about that, okay? As long as it works for your memory, it's good. One more time, okay? Repeat after me. Promise, agree, pretend. Want to wish you sick. Fail, choose, learn, decide. Expect. If you feel shame or if you feel shy, you are not okay, okay? Uh, in learning English, you have to be a child. Again, one more time. Promise, agree, pretend. Want to wish you sick. Fail, choose, learn, decide. Expect. So in campus, uh, when a girl and boy met together, and after they are parted, 
uh, they usually think about study and be a famous man or something like that. But what actually happened <laughs> is not, although hardly tried, but uh, because of the uh, girl or boy parted away, it's hard to concentrate on study, isn't it? As of for wrapping up again, repeat after me, promise, agree, pretend. Promise, agree, pretend. Want to wish sick. Want to wish sick. Fail, choose, learn, decide. Fail, choose, learn, decide. Expect. Expect. Okay? You have to remember the rhyme uh, coming from G-O-D, liar, okay? Habitual liar. Uh, the other one that we need to think about is the, uh, well, there are basically three uh, bubbles there, okay? The first one, two root, okay? And the, uh, the second one, uh, the second one could be uh, I-N-G, okay? Uh, could, you, uh, uh, could you give me an example of the verb uh, but that takes as the object uh, for ING? Could you give me an example? No? No idea? Make. Yeah. Make. Make? Okay, give, me, uh, give us an example. I am making apple pie for breakfast. For the case, maybe it's the, uh, not the proper, but the mango. Uh, we need a book that takes uh, ing as an object. Right, 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 two root, okay? In two root, they were both like, promise and repetition, what do we should say? Fairytales around this side, expect. Everything that comes up, two root should be come up, okay? Likewise, for the case of ING, uh, verb plus routine, could you uh, give me a typical example of this one? Verb plus two, routine. It works, okay. I'm talking about routing. Goes to young men. Um, so if you take a look at this one, I start to smoke, to smoke, and I start to smoking, okay? So, uh, which one talks about quitting smoking? This one or this one? 
This one, this one talks about the uh, purpose, okay? So when, uh, like this one, too small, okay? Uh, I start to smoke, I start for, for the purpose of smoking. So when we uh, talk about adverb, we talk about the mokgyoroni joyangi hangu, okay? Mok, mok, purpose, girl, girl what? One, one in. E, EU, Jo, Jokon, Yang, Yangbo, Hyung, Bu, Sushi. So, talking about the adverb, you should get this one. This could be an example of the uh, uh, two rules to use as the uh, purpose, okay? And so, uh, about the uh, routine, it's a kind of past participle. Uh, things like that, okay? And so, uh, uh, for the case of main verb, uh, uh, I listed something here, okay? Uh, so, uh, I, we did the uh, comparison to bubbles and, uh, and also rooted and things like that. Accidentally, I missed one here, as far as the uh, main verbs are concerned. Uh, we uh, talked about the transitive, which is intangible verb, and uh, uh, talking about transitive and which is intransitive, the most highly appearing uh, in the test is to look at the, uh, uh, the differences. So, as we saw before, the difference is the preposition, okay? After verb, there is a preposition. Oh, what is that? Is that intransitive or transitive? Intransitive or transitive? If there is a verb right after that, is that the uh, transitive or intransitive? So you need to be very clear about that. For example, like we uh, so stay and I said wrong because not using preposition, but because of using not appropriate <laughs> preposition in the given context, okay? So instead of saying in, it should be written within, okay? So uh, for, especially for Korean students, or uh, students, uh, Asian students are confused with this one. They tend to believe that there should be preposition down there, but not okay, and so that's what I call as the uh, uh, church story. Okay, who is the next student? Who is the next student? I'm the next. Uh, do you attend church? No, I don't. How about you? Do you attend church? No. Do you attend church? Are you a Christian? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Do you attend church? No. No? Do you attend church? No. Okay. So uh, I attended church when I was the uh, elementary kid. Okay? Uh, when I was in the sixth grade uh, with <laughs> help of my friend. I went to church for the sake of getting uh, chocolate pie, jiao, okay, for free, with the milk, and so uh, for free, especially in the eve of Christmas. Uh, if you go uh, to church, especially when you, you are young, there are many choices of uh, meeting uh, decent girls or boys there. Uh, they are nice because mostly they believe in God and uh, Try to act like that. And so, after that, uh, I didn't attend the church anymore. And uh, when I was the uh, uh, university student, uh, I, I kept to think about what life is. Where, am I, where am, I, am I from? And where I will be? I know where I am. 
So I thought about that. And so again, uh, I made my mind to go to the church again. So one Sunday, I found the church. I attended the church. And uh, among the uh, church choir uh, and the people there, I saw a beautiful girl, a very attractive girl sitting alone. There, there was no one next to her. You know what? I suddenly approached her and sit next to her. And my priest, Mishamida, and things like that. And I said, Mishamida. And suddenly I dropped my ballpoint pen. And what happened? I accidentally, not accidentally, I intentionally dropped my ballpoint pen to get her attention who resembled my idea. And so she had to pick it up, and I had to pick it up, and we, our, we bumped our heads together in the middle of the sermon, and I said, I'm sorry, and things like that. And after the sermon, when we uh, returned home, uh, she and I walked outside together, and so I tried to get jumbled from her, okay? And so uh, I asked her, I appreciate for your help picking up the PowerPoint pen, and then uh, I, I really would like to uh, uh, have a meeting outside the church if that's possible. And so when she came, she uh, gave me the uh, the uh, uh, phone number. Wow! And so I called her, and we contact all and on, okay? And then. Uh, Oh, then uh, we need the money, and so uh, we told that uh, uh, it might be better to be together at home every day, or from early in the morning to the late at night. Uh, songs like, May you be there, like that, okay? And she agreed, and I married, and we are happy forever. Talks about the confusion of the uh, uh, tragedy, which is in tragedy, verb, and I'm going to summarize it right here uh, after uh, this class on, on this coming Thursday. And so, uh, because we need more explanation on this one, uh, we are not going to take the quiz for labor and article on this coming uh, Thursday, but uh, no. We, uh, on this coming Thursday, we are going to take the uh, main book part, but uh, we, are not, uh, we, will, we need to talk about the article, okay? And so I'm going to talk about the article. So this coming Thursday, you need to prepare for the quiz for uh, labor, and uh, I'm going to deliver lecture here. First time out here, I have to pull it away and finish the class.